Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. In this video, I'm going to be carrying out a little rectification on the E65 730D. Uh, and the problem I've got is this. Hopefully, you can make that out on the camera. Um, there's quite a little bit of, uh, quite a bit of movement in the rear wheel there. Um, a lot of people would probably suggest that that's the wheel bearings. In this instance, it isn't. What it actually is, is the lower rear bush. And this is it. So basically, bottom of the uh, lower suspension arm, this bush locates onto the hub carrier. Uh, as you can see, we've got a flange on this side. And we've got a locking ring on this side. So it fits into the arm and then the locking ring goes on the other side, locks it into place. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. Let's uh, get the wheel off and have a look at where, uh, where it's located on the car. Okay, now we've got the wheel off, we can uh, re really see what it is we're going to be looking at. And the bush in question is this one here in the bottom of the hub carrier. So in order to get that off, what we need to do is remove this long bolt that runs all the way through here and all the way to this side with the large nut on it. Um, I think it's best to probably bring the swing, this, this trailing arm down out of the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the nut from the bottom of the uh, anti-roll bar drop link. And I'm also going to remove the plastic part from the arm that operates the um, headlight adjusters, the level adjusters. Um, as you can see, I've already given them a little bit of spray of uh, WD-40 just to um, give me a chance. Um, same there. Hopefully we won't have too many difficulties getting them undone, um, but you never know. So yeah, 10 mil nut there. There's a nine mil um, set of spanner flats just behind it in order to assist getting that off. That nut under there is 18 and there's also a Torx um, center to it if, if the, uh, if the Drop link does want to twist, but will probably be okay. Um, and then this one, I believe, is a 24. And this side here is um, an 18. So let's uh, set about getting all those parts off and see, see what kind of access we get. Okay, let's start off with the headlight aim adjuster. It's a there's a couple of spanner flats on there which a 9mm spanner fit onto perfectly and then it's a 10mm nut and that came apart really really easily let's get a ratchet spanner on there oops out just like so and we'll put the nut back on the end so we don't lose it come on get on just pop that out of the way like that right there we go that's the first part done that was dead easy hopefully the rest of it's as easy as that next thing what we'll do is we'll take the nut off the bottom of the anti-roll bar drop link i reckon i'm gonna need my big breaker bar for this one because I bet it's quite, I bet it's quite tight. So let's get under. And there she goes, caught up. That wasn't too bad. Let's get my ratchet on it. And it did twist a little bit, but only no further than the limits of the top ball joint. So there we go, we're all good there. Put that nut to one side. Right then, next is 
this long bolt and the nut is on this end and it's a big 24 mil nut so i reckon i need a bit of brute force on this one i haven't got uh, i've got a couple of 24 mil sockets but i haven't got anything deep enough um, to take into account this the end of the bolt so what i'm going to do is i'll use this spanner and i get another one on the end to give me a bit of leverage Right then, I've got the big ratchet on that side. I've got my 24 mil spanner this side, and I've got a massive 32 mil spanner this side. What I'm gonna do is... <sighs> there we go. Should cracked off. It's gonna take a couple of, couple of runs around, I think, to get it loose, but it definitely wanted to move and here we go there we are get this nut off oops it's a big old bolt this one fairly nicely there's not a lot of corrosion under here um, which is normally what hinders nuts like these coming off you, you normally find there's a bit of corrosion on the end but the, this is pretty good um, and uh, there we are that's that is the big nut off the end so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a mallet and I'm gonna give that a whack and hopefully we can get it out I may need to take a bit of strain off of the off of the hub carrier um, in order to get it out but yeah I'll, uh, I'll go and grab some mallets and then let's give it a bash right I've got a big plastic face mallet um, if you're going to use a hammer then I suggest you put the nut back over the end to protect it but this isn't going to damage the bolt um, so what I'm going to do is just give it a little tap there we go that actually came out fairly easily come on Obviously, it's been in here a little while, so it's not going to come out too easy. And as you can see, the whole wheel station wants to twist as well, which doesn't help its cause. What I'll do, I think, is see if I can wind it up. need to do I think is uh, get a drift in here see if I can drift that sucker out well do I'll get the bolt out and then I'll bring you back in there we go finally all right wrong one let's get that one put that on it so we don't get lost right there we are we've removed everything that we needed to remove so if i now lift that out of the way i should be able to pull down on this arm which will give me access to this bush right let me uh let me sort out the access and then i'll bring you back in Right then, having removed this part from the uh, suspension arm, it would appear that that bush has to come out in this direction. Therefore, this has to come out, which all appears to be part of this bracket. So I'm gonna remove that bolt and then see what we're left with. Um, at the moment, I can't feel any other movement. So I'll get that bolt out and then uh, see, see how we get on. Okay, now that I've got this bolt, out the top of this bracket it would appear that this tube fits over the collar 
for this bush. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the nut off this long bolt. I'm going to pop that in there because I know that that fits. And then, oh, there we go. There. Right. Now, that solved that problem. Now what we need to do is remove this bush. Shouldn't be too difficult, hopefully, with a set of pullers. There is a ring around the outside on this side. Looking at it, I can see the split in the ring. Unfortunately, it's, it's pointing towards the brake shielding, which is a pain, because if it wasn't, it would be a lot easier to get off. However, we'll struggle on, um, get that circlip off, and then it should, be, we should be able to extract it from this side. All being well. Okay. So this ring, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the split is right there where my fingernail is right now. That is a split in the little clip. And you can see how annoying it is that it's where it is, really. Um, so I've got to use a selection of random tools to try and pop the clip out. Because I can't get a set of pliers in there. Like I normally would. But we'll persevere and we'll get there. There we go. Oh, I did actually have, I did actually get under it then. bend it so it doesn't go back in and then we'll be laughing because I'll be able to prise it off there we go I think we might be there come on Let's tap it in tap tap a -roo. Ten bonus points for anybody who knows what film that was from. It really doesn't matter if I destroy this clip whatsoever. force and ignorance on this I think seems to be the order of the day and there we are one destroyed circlip. Now, what we're going to do is we've now got to press the bush out of this housing, and um, this, that feels really loose. That's the reason why there was so much play. Look, you can see I'm, I shouldn't be able to move that with my fingers like I can. So yeah, it was uh, it was well well due change. Okay, let's uh, get some pulling devices and uh, try and extract this bush from the hub carrier. Right then, I've got a couple of options for trying to pull this bush out. Um, first off, what I'm going to try and do is just pull it out um, with a bit of threaded rod, uh, and hopefully that'll do the job. Um, now, I, I've got one of these collars that's slightly too big, and the other one is slightly too small, so it doesn't fit in the bush, um, unfortunately. Um, so I'm just going to have to persevere and see how see how we get on um, 
a case of trial and error really um, but it is it is going to come out slightly squiffy so we'll have to just see how we see how we do yeah we'll just have to see how we do Got a few bits of this threaded rod. Let's open this a, little, a few different times. So. That's the wrong size. Okay, let's see how we get on. Right, let me grab some spanners and give it a bash. I'm hoping that the bush isn't going to put up too much of a fight but it will have been in there a little while so I'm not overly hopeful but uh, we'll see we'll see how we get on do have though is a ratchet 19 spin so I'm gonna go and grab that okay right let's get it all get it all arranged into the right place hopefully this will work it is on the squiff so I'm not 100% sure but provided the bush doesn't put up too much of a fight it should be okay all right let's see how we get on What's given up there is one of the washers I used is actually cracked. No movement from the bush yet. What I may have to do is get a little bit of heat in there just to help me out. Get a bit of heat in there and uh, see if that improves things. really tight so what I'm gonna do get a hit bit of heat 
right in here and hopefully that'll free off the bush because this is obviously an aluminium casting and the bush sleeve is steel and they will expand at different rates so hopefully that will have the uh, the desired effect I mean obviously it will damage the rubber part but that doesn't really matter because it's the old bush anyway so let me go and get me uh, heat gun and um, see how we get on This is going to be bloody hot. Let's give it a go. What I want it to do is just crack that. Crack away from the... One thing's gonna go, either the bush is gonna go or the rod is gonna snap. This isn't actually a high tensile piece of rod, to be fair, because I don't have one. So if this doesn't work, I'll probably have to get one. not gone as yet. Let's give it a little tap. Is really putting up a fight. Right guys that turned out to be um, a lot bigger job than I had originally anticipated. As you can see I've removed the entire hub from the car because I think the only way I'm going to get that bush out is to get it into the press and uh, and push it out using a using quite a significant amount of force. So that's what I plan to do. I've got it over on the bench. What I've got to do is figure out how I'm gonna how I'm gonna put it into the um, into the press because obviously it's a weird shape. So I've got to figure that bit out. But um, once I do, we'll uh, we'll look at pressing the bush out and pressing the new one in. Okay, let's get on with the job. Okay, right. Here's the hub assembly. I've stripped everything off. That's the wheel assembly, uh, the, the wheel bearing assembly, should I say? It's not a, it's not a pressed-in bearing on this. It's actually like a, like a cartridge that literally bolts on like that. And 
the brake shield, the backing shield, the dust shield uh, off the back has also come off. But then the one side, there's actually nothing wrong with this bearing. It's perfectly quiet, so that's that's fine to go back on. I'm not worried about uh, having to change that. Now, obviously, the reason why I did all this in the first place was so that I could bring it to my uh, my hydraulic um, press. Now, this is a six-ton one, and I'm hoping it's going to be man enough. It should be. Let's hope, anyway. Um, now, it's a bit of an awkward shape. So what I've got to do is I've got to try and give it room to come out, but obviously that is not ideal. So I'm going to have to make the best of it. Um, however, I am able to position it underneath the press. Perfectly okay. So let's give it a bash. Right. See how we get on. I'll get it bang in the middle like that. Get it set up. Okay, hopefully that's all right. Right then, let's go for it. Feels like it's actually pushing the center. There we go. That's what we wanted. Right. Finally, it, was, it started off by pushing the center of the bush through, and as you can see, all the rubber is squeezed out. So if I relief the pressure, and have a look at what we've got. Right, it's basically obliterated. But as you can see, the edge of the bush is now pretty much flush with the side of the hub so ew, it's all gooey and gammy from inside the uh, inside the bush so now what i need to do is i need to find a socket or something that's roughly the same size and then i should be able to push it all the way down um back through so let me go and find a find a couple of uh, you know a couple of sockets that i can give it a go with and uh, we'll see how we get on right then As you can see there, it has actually popped. It's actually moved about two mil. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to try this socket and see if I can just push it out the rest of the way with that one. Um, let's see how high up we can get it. Uh, can we still get that in there? with it see how we get on. Right. Let's move those out of the way. Right, let's go for it. Now, it is pushing the centre, but I'm hoping it's going to take the rest of the bush with it. Uh, possibly not, it looks like it's just pushed the centre out. Yeah, it's just pushed the centre out. Let's have a look where we are. <laughs> yeah, there's the centre of the bush. So, what I think I'll do... Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this rubber off and then that'll probably give me something better to actually, um, you know, lean on. So I'll get my knife, I'll cut this rubber off and then see what we're left with. Okay, now I've moved all the old crappy rubber, I can see that I can get, should be able to get that socket on there. So what I'll do, I'll give that a bash and see how we get on. It's looking pretty promising so far. Um, let's take that up a touch. And I should be able to get that on. Yeah, right, let's give it a go. Uh, 
And there we go, guys. That is what I needed. Oh, we got there in the end. Well, that was an epic. I think you'll agree. I started this job probably two and a half hours ago. I'm only at the point where I've just got the bush out. What an absolute pain that was. Yeah, right then. What I'm gonna do, give that a bit of a clean up and then push in the new one. We'll get in there. Right then guys, what I've done, I've given that a bit of a clean up inside with a bit of emery cloth. And this is a new bush, it's going in. Just like so, and it feels like it's sitting nice and square. Um, what I've got here is a, a big socket that fits perfectly over the top um, and presses neatly on the shoulder of the, of the bush. So I reckon that's gonna be perfect for our needs. Um, right, what I need to do, however, is make some slight adjustments to my workspace so that I can okay I reckon we're good there I did have a little uh... there it is right I reckon we're there let's give it a go what we're doing so just making sure that it's going in as square as possible it doesn't look too bad at the moment and we're just going up to this up to this shoulder and there we are we're done guys there's the new bush fitted into the hub now the actual um, time taken to remove the old bush and fit the new one when I had the jack was probably it's probably been about eight or nine minutes maybe ten minutes at the most but it's taken me best part of two and two hours to get to this point so yeah it's a uh, it's a bit of a mammoth job this one um, what I've got to do now is I've got to put the circle clip on which fits into that little groove just there that little clip fits in there and then it's all good then Obviously, I've got to reassemble the car. Um, right, stick with me, guys. We'll get there. Right, then, here's the little clip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it so that the uh, the opening points downwards because if I ever have to replace it again, that'll be easier. And there we go. <laughs> it's simple as that. It's actually really, really effortless to get that in. Um, but it ain't coming out, obviously, uh, without a bit of a struggle, as you saw, the old one put up a bit of a fight. So, yeah, there we are. So that is the bush actually replaced. And that one is nice and stiff. I can't even move it with my fingers compared to the one that I took off where it was sloppy. Well, sloppy is the proverbial. I won't, uh, I won't, uh, I won't just say what it was, what it's as sloppy as, but you get where, uh, you get where I'm going. Right. Time to get this back on the car. Uh, and obviously that's the uh, the reverse of removal. So what I'll do, I'll spare you all the, uh, I'll spare you all the, uh, you know, the boring bits of, put, all it is is ball joints, putting the uh, hub back together and the wheel bearing on and all that good stuff. And um, what I'll do, I'll get all of that put on and then we'll get to the point where we're reassembling um, all the parts associated with this bush. Okay guys, as you can see, I've got the hub all reassembled onto the car. Um, there's the bush in there, the new one. Um, the anti-roll bar drop link's connected, the bottom of the shock absorber's connected, and these two upper arms are also connected. The bolt is all the way through this, uh, this Pitman link, and that bolt is now refitted. Point to note, when trying to get the hub mounted back into the... Um, into the lower arm get this link onto the bush there's like a, a little sleeve on the side of the bush on this side that sits inside this tube it's only about half an inch long but it needs to be in there you won't get this in 
unless um, you do it before you slide it into this into this uh, gap. Um, otherwise, you'll, yeah, you'll hit you'll hit problems. Other points to note: put a brand new um, nut on the uh, on the end of the drive shaft. That is V tight. Um, it was 430 newton meters. I have talked it up. I've yet to stake it, so I'll do that before I uh, before I finish. Caliper, I've got to mount, but I've got to get the handbrake um, all back in uh, uh, in position. Then the disc mounted back on. Then I can refit the caliper, and then it's just a case of tidying up things like you know the uh, um, ABS sensor cable and all that good stuff. The um, the little uh, the little plastic arm for the headlight uh, sensors etc that's all uh, connected we're pretty much there all i've really got to do now guys is refit the handbrake components get the disc on and the caliper so yeah we're uh, we're doing okay um uh, and obviously the staking of the nut so i'll crack on with those next bits and then um i'll bring you back in for the wash up at the end okay guys as you can see the car is now back together with the exception of the wheel, I've just got to put the wheel back on. All the ball joints are done, shock absorber, caliper, disc. I've also readjusted the handbrake just to make sure that um, it's going to work as it should. Bit of a mammoth task, this one. Um, it would have obviously been preferable if my uh, pulling tools that I used would have taken the bush off on the car. However, they just weren't beef enough for this job. Um, so unfortunately, I had to take the whole hub assembly off in order to uh, get it on the press on the bench. Still, we achieved, uh, achieved our aim. It took me probably about two and a half hours to get to the point where it was ready to press the bush out. Um, once that was done, the bush went in really, really easily. Um, and fitting the hub back to the car up to this stage has probably taken me about 45, 50 minutes. So not, not terrible, um, but this would have been a, uh, one hell of an expensive job had you had to take it to BMW to do. So there is that. Obviously, as I said before, I've staked the, uh, the center nut. That's important, and that is talked to spec. Anyway, guys, hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video. It was, uh, it was a bit of a mammoth one, um, but yeah, uh, hopefully you found it interesting. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for stopping by and watching, and I'll see you all again for the next one. See you later. Bye-bye now.